welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys we're predicting with you guys the european games this week so just for your guys information we're going to be doing things a bit differently so we're going to keep this to around 30 minutes like last time however things will be a bit more uneven right the champions league segment will be probably around 20 minutes then i'm going to do europa league around five minutes and the europa conference league five minutes because i know most of you guys are just going to be watching the champions league segment so please remember to like the, and like and subscribe i want to see us reach 20 likes in this video guys that'll be greatly appreciated and like i said guys that would really greatly be appreciated of course by the way we're going to be doing a members giveaway on wednesday stream so guys join wednesday stream to get for the members giveaway guys members giveaway i'm going to be giving away a free channel ship member only one person can get it on wednesday so stay tuned for that that'll be a reaction at 5 p.m eastern standard time Okay, let's start with the Champions League, okay, guys? Enough introduction. So let's start with the first game, which we have here is Shakhtar, Donetsk versus Barcelona. The early kickoff, I'll be honest with you, Barca should be winning this game. Even though we haven't really been that great recently in La Liga, I still expect us to win. And, you know, I think Barca should be winning this game. Shakhtar, Donetsk, with all due respect, you know, they just don't, and they, they're just not the same as they used to be, you know? I expect Barca to win this game. I think the question is, be how many we're going to score? I'm going to say we win this 2 0 on the road. I think there'll be a cruise control game and i think barca will comfortably do well in the first half and then ease off in the second half and you know rotate here and there so yeah next up i have is Borussia Dortmund versus newcastle this is a massive game the early kickoff to be honest with you i might be watching this game more than the barca game even though i'm a barca fan newcastle have to get revenge after Dortmund defeated them one nil at in a way at st james park this will be a huge one for newcastle newcastle need to get something this game even a draw will be great for Dortmund, if they win this game, they put themselves in a great position to qualify. Huge, huge game. It's a difficult one to call because I'm really not sure. Because we all know, guys, as much as I criticize Dortmund and make fun of them and call them a joke club and, you know, this kind of stuff, they always are generally pretty good at home. They're very generally pretty good at home. And I know they got destroyed over the weekend against Bayern Munich, against Bayern Munich, you know. And they always lose to Bayern, so it shouldn't be too surprising. So... I'm going to say for this one, I'm going to say it's a 1-1 one, one draw. I think I'm going to say it's a 1-1 one, one draw. I could maybe see Newcastle win, but I just don't see Newcastle winning away. I just don't see it. I just think Dortmund is good at home, and I think they'll pick up a very, very valuable point. Next up is Porto versus Antwerp. Uh, with all due respect to Royal Antwerp, and I feel like Porto should be winning this. I mean, yes, Royal Antwerp did lead in the last game against them last time they played. We all know Porto were able to turn it around. Evan Nelson scored a hat trick. I expect Porto to do the same in this game. I think Porto will win this game. I'm going to say 2-0. I don't think it will be as emphatic as the last game, but I do think Porto will win this game. Porto will win this game, in my opinion. Next up is Cervena Zvezda versus RB Leipzig. A very interesting game, guys. Obviously, um, you know, RB Leipzig won the reverse fixture away at home. And Cervena Zvezda, they put up a good effort. I actually think Cervena Zvezda put up a good effort in that game. That being said, though, I think Leipzig should still be winning. I'm going to say Leipzig wins this one. I will say 2-1. I think they win this one 2-1 on the road. I just have that feeling. And then we got to play my booster. Uh, let's look through all 16 games. I will decide which one I'm going to play my booster for. Manchester City versus Young Boys. I expect Manchester City to win this one. I mean, they just smashed Bournemouth on the weekend, guys. And that Doku guy looks amazing. That Doku guy looks unbelievable. The guy had, like, I think three assists and a goal contribution. The guy was amazing. I don't know how he didn't get a 10 rating off of him up. Whatever the case may be, though, it doesn't really matter. I think Man City will win this one. I'm going to say Man City win this one 3 now. I'll say 3 now. Dude, some people even went for 5 and 6. I don't think Man City will be that ruthless. But um, you never, you just never know. Then next up we have is Paris Saint and Milan versus Paris Saint Germain, guys. I have not been convinced with Milan. I don't know what's wrong with this club. This club cannot score goals, and they just don't look great. You know, some of these issues I had with Milan are coming through this season. You know, and guys for PSG, man, this could be huge for them. If PSG manages to pick up a win here, I think it's fair to say they will top this group. You know, put themselves nine points after four games, a great position. As for Milan, they have to win this game. They're the only team in this group that haven't won a game. And this is such a massive game for Milan. Milan needs to get something in this game. I'm going to have to go with PSG, though. I think PSG is going to win this one. I'm going to say PSG narrowly win this one, though. I'm going to say 1-0 win on the road. I think I'm going to go with the scrappy 1-0 win for PSG on the road. Next up, it is Lazio versus Feyenoord. Moving on. 
Uh, Lazio versus Feyenoord, very, very interesting game. You know, Lazio over the weekend, um, you know, didn't look so great. Um, and Feyenoord looking amazing, man. Feyenoord looking amazing. If Feyenoord can win this game, they're in a great position. Great, great position. As much as I criticize Lazio, I feel like they're decent at home. I feel like they're decent at home. For that reason, I think Lazio, I think this will be a high-scoring game. I think I'm going to go with the draw. I think I'm going to say a draw, though. But I could see a scenario where maybe Lazio win this one. Because Lazio need to win this game, man. Lazio need to win this one. So, I'm going to say Lazio 2, Vinor 2. Next up is Atletico Madrid versus Celtic. Atletico Madrid had a very disappointing loss to Las Palmas, which was so surprising. I did not expect them to lose to Las Palmas in that kind of fashion. That being said, though, they are at home for this game, and we all know Celtic is really not good on the road. Celtic is terrible on the road, and so Atletico Madrid needs to win this one. I Especially considering they drop points to the reverse fixture, I expect Atletico to win this one. I think this will be a bit of a scrappy win, though. I don't think this will be a much convincing win, but Atletico will win regardless, and I think Atletico will win this one. I'll say 2-1 win at home. Then next up, moving on to the Wednesday games. We have Real Sociedad versus Benfica, guys. I have not been convinced with Benfica. Benfica look absolutely shambles. This team cannot score goals. Real Sociedad is looking amazing. And even though they did lose to Barcelona, I think Real Sociedad will be, be back and put some vengeance. And I think they'll take and leash it on to Benfica. And I think if Real Sociedad win this game, I think it's fair to say they're qualifying to round of 16. So I think they, if they can win this game, considering that especially they're at home, I think Real Sociedad is going to get the job done. I'm going to say Real Sociedad win this one. I'm going to say 1-0. A one-day win at home for Real Sociedad. Next up, it is Napoli versus Union Berlin. I think for Union Berlin, man, I think this is where the journey ends for them in the Champions League. It was good while it lasted. They put up a good effort, you know, to qualify for this competition. is amazing. You know, first time ever. It's just that this is too tall of a task. Even though this Napoli team haven't been as resurgent as last season, I think Napoli will still win this one. And I think Napoli will win this one. I'm going to say they win this one. Uh... I think I'll say they win this one, another 1-0 one win. I just have I just have a feeling it's going to be another scrappy 1-0 no win. I just feel like Napoli will just about get the job done. The next up is RB Salisbury versus Inter. Guys, Inter's looking amazing. Inter looked dominant. And, um, you know, they've defeated Atalanta on the road 2-1 away in Atalanta, which is a good result. And Inter just looks so good in this group. They, they look like they're in such cruise control that they can maneuvered their way through and i just feel like for inter man they're just the team to beat as for salzburg as i said they lost too many attacking players this summer they lost so many influential players i just don't think salzburg is the same as they used to be so maybe if this was last season i would be speaking things differently as for this season though i'm not so i'm going to say inter win this one i'll say another you know two one win for inter on the road i, I think they'll just about got the just about get the job done although to be fair to salzburg though they did put up a good effort away from home against inter and Kept the game pretty close until, like, I think it was a 74th minute winner from Inter. Next up, it is Real Madrid versus Braga. Huge one for Real Madrid. Real Madrid, I think if they win this game, I think it's fair to say that they will qualify. And most likely top the group. That will put them on 12 points. And so, I think Real Madrid is going to get the win here. And I think they'll do it. I think this will be a bit of a scrappy one, though. I don't think it will be as convincing. But I think Real Madrid is going to win this one. 2-0 at home against Braga. So, four more games to go through. Wow, I said I'm going to do this, like... 20 minutes, but I guess we'll do this 10 minutes. Um, PSV versus Lons. PSV, man, this is a huge game for them, especially since they're at home. Lons have been looking amazing, though. I've been really impressed with Lons. I think Lons is looking great. That's a tricky one, guys. It's a tricky one. I'm tempted. I don't see Lons winning this. I Best I can see them is getting a draw. But then again, though, Lons they did look great in the, the game against PSV, though. I think I heard they were the better team, so... Uh, it's a tricky one, guys. I, I, I could, I'm gonna sit on the fence, though. I think I'm gonna sit on the fence and say one all draw, just like the first fixture. I just feel like for me, both teams just are kind of like around the same level, and I, I feel like there's not really much to separate. Although that being said, though, if there is gonna be a winner, I'll probably lean towards PSV since the home team. Then we have Arsenal versus Sevilla. Arsenal should wipe the floor with Sevilla. I know Arsenal had a very disappointing loss to Newcastle on the weekend, guys. Sevilla is trash this season. I'm sorry, Sevilla is mediocre this season they're not that great anymore and so i expect arsenal to win this one i'm gonna say arsenal win this one i think they win this one i'm gonna say they win this one three one three one i think arsenal will win this one three one then we have the big one the big one copenhagen versus manchester united this is a must win game for manchester united if manchester united draw points this game it's it's a really bad position even though it's on the road Manchester United have been pulling through with wins. You know, they got a 1-0 win over the weekend against Fulham and got a dest destruction against Newcastle. 
So for this one, guys, I'm tempted. See, the thing is, like, I can see. I don't see Copenhagen winning. At best, I can see them as drawing this game. I think I'm going to go with United to win this one. It's going to be another scrappy win, though. I think it's going to be another 1-0 win. I just have a feeling United will just do the bare minimum and score and make a scrappy 1-0 win on the road. The next up is the last game we have here of the Champions League match day four. It is Bayern Munich versus Galatasaray, guys. I think Bayern Munich is going to win this one. And the thing with Galatasaray is they, they look good in its possessions. They look good in spells throughout the game. It's just that this team isn't clinical whatever whatsoever in the final third. They missed so many chances. Mauro Icardi, yes, he scored that penalty against Bayern Munich. He had a disaster class minus the penalty. So I just think for Bayern, they're going to win this one. They're going to be clinical with their chances, and Galatasaray won't, even though Galatasaray will probably create a lot of chances. So I think Bayern Munich is going to win this one. I'm going to say Bayern Munich wins this one 3-1. Just like the same fixture from the last one. So which one am I going to be playing my booster for, guys? Um, It's a tricky one, guys. Let's, let's go through all 16 games and really tell you whether I should do or not. Shakhtar Barcelona, I'm, n I'm not going to play my booster for since Barca is kind of shaky on the road sometimes. So I could see a scenario where Barca don't, you know. Dortmund, Newcastle, I'm not very confident with that one, so I'm not going to do that one. Porto, Antwerp, yeah, you know what? I might do it for Porto, Antwerp, to be fair. I might do it with Porto, Antwerp. Then, Serena, Zvezda, Leipzig, and Man City, Young Boys. I think I did Man City, Young Boys last time. Milan, PSG, no. Lazio, Feyenoord, definitely not. I like Madrid, Celtic, no, I can't do that because I like Madrid sometimes fumble it. Real Madrid, Benfica, maybe it's tempting. Napoli, Union, Berlin, Salzburg, Inter, Real Madrid, Braga, PSV, Lons, Arsenal, Sevilla, Copenhagen, United, Bayern, Galatasaray. Mm, you know what? I'm going to go with the Man City one. I'll just play it safe and go with the Man City one since I did that last time. And I also want to show you guys how I'm doing the league. Now, I believe I looked at this in the stream. Uh, but I just want to quickly refresh because it's been a while since I've looked at this. So let's go look at the league. Remember, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to join my league right here. So this is the 8744 Lounge League. And I'm currently, as things stand right now, at ninth. So I'm not even a European spot. I'm trying to hover around, get that European football. And the people are above me are Theodore, Ali, Adam, Pookie, the legend, Kratos, Bulgarian Ball, Darius, and Dizzy. Dizzy is the one to beat, man. So Dizzy, as things stand, is winning the league. So... Yeah, and how many people are competing? We have 24 people competing, so it is interesting in that regard. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Europa League. So uh, stay tuned for that. And you're gonna quickly go through those games. I'm not gonna spend too much time there. We already spent a, a, too much time in this one, to be honest. So predictions, guys. Europa League time. Europa League. Okay, next up it is Quarterback versus Leverkusen, guys. Leverkusen to win this one. I'm pretty confident this one. I'm gonna say Leverkusen win this one. Three one. And I think I'm going to play my booster. I'm pretty confident on one. Slavia Pro, Roma. I'm going to say Roma just about get the win. I'll say a 2-0 win for Roma. I'm pretty confident on that one. Servet versus Sheriff. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really know. I'm going to just say a draw, to be honest. Okay, then we have Makeba Haifa versus Villarreal. Now, I believe this game will take place, and that is match day three. So, remember, Villarreal, do you have a game in hand? Uh, I'm going to say... I think I'm going to say Villarreal just about win this one, but it's close. It's close. I'm going to say 2-1 win for Villarreal. Rennes versus um, that Greece team. I don't even want to pronounce the name because I know I'm going to butcher the name. I think Rennes is going to win this one 2-0. And I think that will put them in a good position to qualify. Toulouse versus Liverpool, guys. Liverpool to win. I'm going to say Liverpool to win 2-0. Even though Liverpool did draw points to Luton Town today. LASK versus UNSG. Ooh, it's a tricky, tricky one, guys. I think I'm going to say a draw. I'm not really that impressed with Union SG. They had just come from behind us, barely beat LESK at home, so that's kind of just concerning. The way Ajax was a Brighton, guys. I think Brighton's going to win this. Ajax just don't look good. Oh. You know, even though Ajax did have picked up back to back wins the league, I still feel like Brighton is considerably better than Ajax. So I think I'm going to go with Brighton to win this one. I think this will be a lot closer than the game in, um, in Brighton, but uh, yeah, Brighton should win regardless. I mean, Hopkins versus Mold. I'm going to say. I'm sorry to say this. I'm going to say 1-0 no win for Mold. I was tempted to go with the draw, but Swedish teams are just not really great. You know, and I believe Hawken lost at home to quarterback. So, yeah. Then we have Sporting CP versus Rocco. I'm going to go with Sporting to win this one, given the factor on home. But I'm not too confident in this one, though. So, 2-1 win. And then Atalanta versus Strom Guys. I'm going to go with Atalanta to win this one. I'm going to say 2-1 win for them at home. Then we have Rangers versus Servette. Rangers need to win this one. I think Rangers will just about get the win. 
against her, um, against Sparta Praha. That Real Betis was Aris Limazol. I'm going to say Real Betis win this one 2 0 at home. The AK Athens versus Marseille. I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a draw, guys. I think AK Athens will peg back and put up a good effort. And then West Ham versus Olympiacos. I think West Ham's going to win this one. They'll get revenge. I think they'll win this two. I think I'm going to say 3 0, actually. No, no, I'm going to say 3 1, actually. 3 1. 3 1. And then finally, the last one he has Freiburg versus TSC. Bakatopola, I think Freiburg will win this one. I'll say a 2 0 win for Freiburg. So those are my Europa League predictions. Uh, let's go ahead and look where I am in the league real quick. Um, I actually did not check this last time, so this is the first time I'm checking this after Europe match day three. And as you can see right here, guys, I am currently 13th. Well, actually, no, 13 people are competing, and I'm currently fourth. So as things stand, I'm in the Champions League position. Pookie's above me, Ali's above me, and Theodore Grant is above me. So, gotta I gotta fix things up, man. Fix things up. All right, moving on to the conference league, guys. Final segment we have here, um, conference league. We have Astana versus Balkana. Um, I'm gonna say Astana win this one since we're at home. Um, maybe could be a draw, but yeah, I think Astana will win this one. I'm gonna say it's like a two-one win for Astana at home. Uh, Northland versus Spartak Trinaba. I'm going to go Northland to win. Northland has been looking amazing. Um, yeah, I got 2 0 win. And then HK versus Frankfurt. I'm going to go with Frankfurt to win this one. I got 3 0 win for Frankfurt. Sorry, HK. Uh, Pog versus Aberdeen. I'm going to say this one. I think Pog is going to win this one. I'm going to say like a very scrappy 1 0 win. I don't think I'll be as good as the last game, but yeah, I think Pog will win regardless. I'm going to put. Should I buy my booster on Frankfurt, HK? Yeah, I think I'm going to play my booster for that one. I'm pretty fond of that one. Kukrachi versus Ferenc Varos. I, I mean, sorry. Kukrachi versus Fiorentina. I'm going to go Kukrachi to lose. I'm going to say Fiorentina wins us 2-0. Ferenc Varos versus Gank. It first like ended nil-nil in Belgium. I think this one... I think I'm going to go Ferenc Varos to win this one. Since we're at home. But Gank may do something. So, actually, you know what? No, actually, I think I think this will be another draw. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say another draw. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. Legeo Warsaw versus Zerniski Moster. I'm going to go with Legeo to win this one at home. I got 1 0 win. And then Besiktas versus Bodo Glimt. While well, Bodo Glimt won last time at their stadium, Besiktas, they need to win this one. I think Besiktas will get revenge, though. Um, and I say they win this one 1 0. That won't be enough for head to head, though. The Victory Plaza versus Dynamo Zagreb. I'm going to say 1 0 draw. I think Dynamo Zagreb will bounce back, even though they're not that great on the road. Ludogrets was a Farron Bache. I think Farron Bache is going to win this one. Actually, you know, I think I'm playing my booster for this one. I'm pretty confident in this one, actually. Then we have um, Aston Villa versus AC Alcamore. I believe I predicted a draw last time. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to ask Aston Villa to win this one 2 0. Club Rouge versus Lugano. I think Club Rouge should win this one. Um, I'm going to say they win this one 2 0. Then Zorin Lunisk versus Makiba Tel Aviv. I'm going to go for this one to be a draw since it's away for Makiba Tel Aviv. Bristol Bay versus Gant. I'm going to go again to win this one 2 0. Olympia Lobana versus Kaya Klasvik. You know what? I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a draw for that one. Kaya Klasvik, come on. And Slovian Bartosipay versus Leo. I'm going to go with Slovian Bartosipay and Leo to end in a 2 0. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go 2 1 win for Leo. So I'm going to play my booster for Ferenbachi Ludogorets. And then let's go look at where I am in the league. I'm currently, as things stand, I believe I'm currently um, actually sixth out of eight, nine people. So, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below to all the leagues. So, yeah, Rubik's ahead of me, Santiago's ahead of me, Theodore Grant's ahead of me, Ali's ahead of me, and Bulgarian Ball's ahead of me. Dang, I am way behind everyone else. I did not have a good prediction. So, how many points did I rack up here? I racked up 36 points, match day three, and then in the Europa League, how many points I racked up? 46. Uh, then in the Champions League, I want to see how many racked up there. I racked up 59. So I did really well in the Champions League. So it's going to be interesting. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Guys, remember guys to like and subscribe. Uh, comment below your thoughts. Comment section below if, you know, if there's any major talking points I missed. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll uh, see you guys on the Wednesday stream. Remember guys to become a member of the channel. Get access to members, members' videos, members' streams. And yeah, turn on notification to be notified when I go live. And also, check out my other pop in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.